With the eighth pick in the 2008 WNBA Draft, our newest franchise, the Atlanta Dream, select Tamara Young from James Madison University. Tamara's passion uh, really separated her from a lot of players, and I really ele elevated her to elite status. Uh, this was this was evident to me the first time that I saw her play in the AAU circuit. Uh, she went out and she just really did whatever she could to help her team win. Uh, and as I got to know her through the recruiting process, uh, re what I really found out about Tamara was that not only was she passionate about basketball, passionate about everything she did, she was a big teddy bear. You know, she flashed the biggest smile that would really light up her room. And I knew that she could be a transcendent player for our program. Tamara is fun. A lot of people, once you got to get to know her first before you can really get to the root of her personality because she's fake shy, as I like to call it. Um, but once she kind of let that guard down with you, she might be one of the funniest people you can be around. But a really, really great person overall and willing to do anything for you. I think it came in stages for me. So, uh, you know, you would watch her practice and you'd watch them um, do workouts and stuff like that. But the very first game that I got to sit on the bench with, she, had, she really had a different level that all of a sudden flicked on when it was game time. And so I knew then she was gonna be a really good player. Now I hadn't, you know, I'd watch film, but it was, it was different live for me. In practice, so <laughs> one day in practice, Coach Brooks is really good about stacking teams and he'll mess with whoever he feels like it that day. So one day in practice, he put Tamara on the team with like the subs and he put all of our starters together. And it was like Tamara and her subs versus the starters and we, he wasn't calling any fouls for her. So she would come into the lane and like I could knock her over and he wouldn't call a foul. And it was almost like bully Mortal Kombat ball that day. And the one thing I remember about her, you can see like the tears in her eye because she was so frustrated, but she never quit, never quit. And I want to say we probably played about, let's say five games. She might've won like two out of the five by herself by carrying the team on her back by herself. So that's when I knew she was special. We were, we were playing Maryland at home and it was probably 6,000 people. And she was, I thought that day, the best player on the floor. And that, that's pretty special. I mean, you're talking about Maryland team that has at least four pros. And I thought Tamara was the best player on the floor. And, you know, basically watching her dribble around and hit that little mid-range jumper and the, and the crowd going crazy. I mean, I'm getting chill bumps right now just talking about it. Coaching Tamara Young uh, was, was a joy. Uh, it was challenging uh, and it made me, I had to, make sure that I brought it every day. Uh, she wanted the best out of everyone, uh, including the coaching staff. She wanted you to challenge her and push her. Uh, the very first time that I knew that she was elite on the basketball floor, uh, we had a conditioning session and we were really pushing them and pushing them and challenging everyone to make their times. And Tamara was so far ahead of everyone that when she ran down and she was on her way running back, she would get to half court and she would turn around and run the rest of the part of the way backwards and pretty much looked over at us and was like, okay, I need more, you need to challenge me. Congratulations, Tamara. I wish you the very best. You earned every little bit of this. Tamara, I'm extremely proud of you and I thank you for everything that you've done, not only for me, but JMU in general. I love you. Tamara, T-Y-T, congratulations on making it to the Hall of Fame. Just make sure you stop chewing that gum so hard.